What really obvious thing have you only just realized? Super embarrassing but in college I would order Roman Cokes because I heard everyone else ordering the same. Turns out I misheard everyone and found out it was just rum and coke. That the division symbol is just a blank fraction with dots replacing the numerator and denominator. This is going to make me seem dumb as hell but I recently realized why pickles don't ever come fresh. I live in Denmark so English is not my native language and I just realized that weekend means the end of the week. The first time I visited the USA I was on my own and in New York and going to all the museums. I kept seeing signs that said no strollers and thought. Because we call strollers prams in the UK. That you guys are super strict about the proper amount of attention required to visit a museum. I actually pretended to show more interest than I had in order not to be thought of as some deadbeat out for a casual stroll. It wasn't until about day 3 that I saw a no strollers sign that included a graphic for idiots. This girl I know has a dog named DOG. Two years into knowing her and being around DOG. I was having a conversation with her sister-in-law and I said I love the name DOG. How did she come up with that? Her sister-in-law responds. DOG and I said yeah. It's a neat name. She started laughing and said no. D. O. G. The way you spell dog I'm still mind blown about this lol. When the kids catch their mom kissing Santa Claus. It is because Santa is their dad dressed up. Not because Santa and mom have a once yearly torrid affair. When I was little we had an Australian shepherd named Sydney. I didn't understand why her name was Sydney until 18 years later. Today my friend realized pipe cleaners were originally for cleaning pipes. After I suggested using one to clean a metal straw because it's similar to a pipe. I learned that all spice is actually one spice and not a blend of spices containing cinnamon and nutmeg. When I was a kid my mom told me my rabbit Rosie went to live on a farm. In my early 20s I saw an episode of The Sopranos where everyone makes fun of Tony when he realizes his dog didn't really go to live on a farm. That's when I realized Rosie had not gone to a farm either. Edit. I would like to officially apologize for the cascading wave of terrible realizations my post has caused. Truly we sit on thrones of lies. Edit 2. It turns out a lot of animals really do get to go live on the farm from the responses here so that's cool. That to take off the plastic piece on top of deodorant you just simply twist the bottom a few times LMAO. That Michelangelo's David is David from David and Goliath. How did I not know this? I thought it was just dude called Dave. That they put measurement stickers next to gas station doors so if a robber is running out of the store you can get a better estimate of their height. I always thought they were just there for something fun to do on road trip stops. Not me but my husband just understood that Q is pronounced Q and not key. His mind was blown. It's called a department store because there are, wait for it, separate departments within the one store. I had a sudden clarity Clarence moment with that one recently. I'm in my 50s. I grew up in a rural area north of New York City. I'm a veteran. I'm reasonably intelligent. Reasonably well-traveled. I've been hearing and repeating this expression on and off for all of my life. Friend slash acquaintance one. Hey. Man see you soon. Friend slash acquaintance too. Not if I see you first. Smirk it's just within the last few years that I realized that's a almost always joking. Kind jab at friend slash acquaintance one. It was so ritualized as a way to say goodnight to a buddy. That it never occurred to me that it meant that the friend would choose to avoid the other person. I didn't know the characters on Family Guy had accents. Live in New England watching with my wife, not from here. And she says wow they really nailed the accents. I say what accents? Blew my mind when she explained not everyone talks like that lmao. Today the radio taught me Mariah Carey wrote and sang all I want for Christmas is you. All this time I thought it was just a cover that she did so well. People loved it more than the original. Turns out it is the original. It called men's warehouse and not men's warehouse. It's been a couple years since I realized this and I just think that's a clever name. Saw a place labeled as public house when I moved nearby recently. 
It was at that moment I realized oh that's why they call them pubs. It's short for public house. Personal injury lawyer commercials play more frequently during daytime TV because their clientele is injured, stuck at home, and watching daytime TV. I always thought you can't have your cake and eat it. Two was a weird saying because why wouldn't I be able to eat my freaking slice of cake? It's my cake. Nobody was telling me that I can't have my cake. Turns out they mean you can't eat the cake while also still retaining it. Once it is eaten, it is gone. An idiom I did not understand until this year. I am 27. The reason the cord hook on a vacuum spins is so you can take the whole cord off at once instead of unraveling it one loop at a time. Like I have been my whole life. My mom used to make my sisters and I belly buttons for dinner. I was 27 when I realized that they were actually tortellini. But she knew we were dumb kids and would refuse something named so strange even though they were delicious. I realized that to be in one's birthday suit it means to be without clothes. I thought for the longest time it was a specific set of clothes you would wear on your birthday each year. I found out when I asked. What happens when you don't fit in your birthday suit anymore? LOL. Not just now. But I think it applies. I'm currently in my mid-30s. I didn't realize until I was about 28 years old that my mom's name was Betty and her sister's name was Wilma. Betty and Wilma. From the Flintstones. And yes. They were definitely named after the cartoon. I asked. Flash forward two years later. My Aunt Wilma informed me that they were fraternal twins. Again. Another thing for 30 years I had not known. Learned from a similar thread. But I was 40 years old before I realized that there is an arrow indicating what side the gas cap is on by the gas gauge. That alcohol doesn't freeze in a regular freezer. EDA. I was referring to drinks with high alcohol content. Not beer and wine. I was a voracious reader and was way ahead of the curve during school. But didn't realize until age 50 that there are two discrete slash discretes. One website said the trick to remembering them is the two E letters stay next to each other when they want to whisper a secret. This is so so stupid but I didn't realize my moms were gay until I was almost 14 and I literally heard my mom say I'm gay to my grandma as a joke. I knew that lesbians slash same sex slash gay were relatively interchangeable but it didn't click as my moms are lesbians which is another term for being gay and they are gay until that moment. My whole life I thought pay-per-view was actually pay-per-view because I had only ever heard people say it. And only recently saw it written out. When I realize words I use all the time are painfully literal in their meaning. For example. Breakfast implies you are literally breaking your fast. Afternoon is after the noon hour. I feel that when I find words like these. I've had an radical realization. But. I'm just dense. Story time. When I was little for some reason I hated toast. Just hated it. My parents always tried to make me eat it but I always refused. My grandma decided to try something different. She took toast. Cut it up into tiny squares. Put some butter on them and called them little pillows. I ate them all the time. Only now. At 22 years old. Did I realize it was just freaking toast. My friend, 22Y. Oh, only realized last year that dolphins have to swim and live in the water to survive. He thought they are land mammals but they just really like to swim for fun. That the phrase mint condition means like new because it's the condition coins leave the mint in. Okay. This was a couple of years ago. But it was something I realized way too late in my life. You're supposed to use the towel to dry yourself after a shower. I was just wrapping it around myself and sitting slash walking around in it until I air dried. English is not my first language. So I was mind blown when I realized how keys. Kiss. He's. His. This. These. Etc. Different in sound, pronunciation. I first noticed this when I told my boyfriend I wanted a keys and he looked very confused lol. Now I try my best to pronounce them properly. Pancakes are cakes made in a pot he thought they were invented by a guy named Pan until this morning. 
I was 28 before I realized the meaning to the why is 6 afraid of 7 joke. I always just thought it was dumb. 7. 8. 9. Like you're just counting. The electric bill wasn't paid until later in my life. That calling someone simple is just a nice way of calling someone stupid. Wife informed me of this. After 28 years of my grandma calling me simple. I realized at the age of 26 that novels are real because they were on an Octonauts episode I walked into the room and was like. I thought they only do real animals on this show then the kid's dad said. You're joking. Right. SNL cast members are listed in alphabetical order in the open credits. Have been watching for 30 years. It's for all intents and purposes. Not for all intensive purposes. How did I not recognize what I'm saying just doesn't make sense. That my girlfriend's name is actually spelled Kia. I really though it was spelled Kia. Luckily she never found this fact out. Tenure is the word, not tenure. Which is what I thought teachers got as like job security once they'd worked for 10 years. I regret to inform you all that it just occurred to me the other day that the game is called Sims because they're in a simulation. I'm 26. Up until last year I thought Nat Geo was a person. I then realized it was short for National Geographic. I must have been around 11 to 12 years old. When I realized that an order of appearance during the end credits of a movie doesn't list the actors slash actresses by who is the most good looking. Impending death in the family is really hard. I'm feeling emotions at a heightened level I haven't felt since I was a teen. Like every song has a lyric that makes me want to cry. Every time I see your face it reminds me of the places. We used to go. I can't stop listening to that line end today. In a much different way than before.